Gigantosaurus was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs. It roamed modern-day Argentina during the late Cretaceous period, about 99.6 to 97 million years ago. In this video, we count down 10 interesting facts about Gigantosaurus. Remember if you enjoy this video and want to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. 1. Gigantosaurus had 76 teeth, and each tooth was around 8 inches. Gigantosaurus used its knife-like teeth to cut into sauropods, its prey. Gigantosaurus would keep cutting into the sauropod, until the sauropod bled to death. Then Gigantosaurus would eat its prey. 2. Part of what has made Gigantosaurus so famous so quickly is the fact that it slightly outweighed Tyrannosaurus rex. Full-grown adults may have tipped the scales at about 10 tons, compared to a little over 9 tons for a female T-Rex, which outweighed the male of the species. Even still, Gigantosaurus wasn't the biggest meat-eating dinosaur of all time. That honor belongs to the truly humongous Spinosaurus of Cretaceous Africa. 3. Gigantosaurus may have preyed on Argentinosaurus. Direct proof is lacking, but the discovery of the bones of the giant titanosaur, Argentinosaurus, in the proximity of those of Gigantosaurus, at least hints at a potential that these dinosaurs might have preyed on them. Since it's hard to imagine even a fully grown Gigantosaurus taking down a 50-ton Argentinosaurus, this may be a hint that this late Cretaceous meat-eater hunted in packs, or at least in groups of two or three individuals. 4. Gigantosaurus was the largest meat-eating dinosaur of South America. Although it wasn't the largest theropod of the Mesozoic era, that honor, as stated, belongs to the African Spinosaurus. But Gigantosaurus is secure in its crown as the largest meat-eating dinosaur of Cretaceous South America. Fittingly enough, its presumed prey, Argentinosaurus, holds the title of largest South American titanosaur, though lately there have been numerous pretenders. South America, by the way, is where the very first dinosaurs evolved, way back during the Middle Triassic period, about 230 million years ago, though there is now some evidence that the ultimate ancestor of dinosaurs may have originated in Scotland. 5. Gigantosaurus prowled the plains and woodlands of South America about 95 million years ago, a whopping 30 million years before its more famous relative, Tyrannosaurus rex, reared its head in North America. Oddly enough though, Gigantosaurus was a near contemporary of the biggest known meat-eating dinosaur, Spinosaurus, which lived in Africa. 6. Gigantosaurus was speedier than T. rex. There has been a lot of debate lately about how fast Tyrannosaurus rex could run. Some experts insist this supposedly fearsome dinosaur could only attain a top speed of a relatively pokey 10 miles per hour. But based on a detailed analysis of its skeletal structure, it seems that Gigantosaurus was a bit fleeter, perhaps capable of sprints of 20 miles per hour or more, when chasing down fleet-footed prey, at least for short periods of time. Bear in mind that Gigantosaurus wasn't technically a tyrannosaur, but a type of theropod known as a Carcharodontosaur, and thus related to Carcharodontosaurus. 7. It may have been bigger and faster than Tyrannosaurus rex, but oddly enough, Gigantosaurus seems to have been a relative dimwit, by Middle Cretaceous standards, with a brain only about half the size of its more famous cousin, relative to its body weight, giving this dinosaur a relatively low encephalization quotient, or EQ, which stands for emotional intelligence. Adding insult to injury, to judge by its long narrow skull, Gigantosaurus's tiny brain appears to have been the approximate shape and weight of a banana. 8. Not all dinosaur discoveries can be credited to trained professionals. Gigantosaurus was unearthed, in the Patagonian region of Argentina, in 1993, by an amateur fossil hunter named Ruben Dario Carolini, who surely must have been surprised by the size and heft of the skeletal remnants. The paleontologists who examined his specimen acknowledge Carolini's contribution by naming the new dinosaur Gigantosaurus carolinii. To date, this is still the only known Gigantosaurus species. 
9. To date, no one has identified a complete Gigantosaurus skeleton. As is the case with many dinosaurs, Gigantosaurus was constructed based on incomplete fossil remains, in this case, a set of bones representing a single adult specimen. The skeleton discovered by Reuben Caroline in 1993 is about 70% complete, including the skull, hips, and most of the back and leg bones. To date, researchers have identified mere fragments of this dinosaur's skull, belonging to a second individual. 10. Gigantosaurus was closely related to Carcharodontosaurus. Carcharodontosaurus and Pteranodotan were both close cousins of Gigantosaurus, though the first lived in northern Africa rather than South America. Part of the family Carcharodontosauridae, Gigantosaurus is one of the most known members of the group, which includes other very large theropods, such as the closely related Mapusaurus and Carcharodontosaurus. Well that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed, and be sure to subscribe.